Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Jack DePost, the tow cap piston cup racer number 4 from Cars 3. Now before we get right into the review and the retrospective, let's start with the unboxing. So here we've got the, the Cars 3 logo all rotated and a bit of red and black background. His diecast sealed in and his name Jack DePost. We have the Mattel logo. And on the back we have the Cars 3 logo. And, and it says right here, blindsided by a new generation of piston cup racers, Lenny McQueen so, fi, finds himself suddenly pushed out of the sport he loves. To get back on top, he will need the help of a young race technician, inspiration from the late fabulous Hudson Hornet, and guidance from a few old friends along the way. And the cars on the back here are Chick Hicks with a headset, Ralph Carlo, a.k.a. Cars 3 Ralph Carlo that I unfortunately don't have, Parker Brakeston, Rex Reveler, who I unfortunately don't have, Cruz Ramirez, and Doug Throttleman, the Mattel logo, Disney slash Pixar, 2016 Mattel, and that is it. And now without any further ado, let's dig right, let's start with the unboxing. I'll be back right after this had been unboxed. So here we have Jack DePost all opened up and out of the package. So, <clears throat> Jack DePost is a Brawny Motor Co. Spark EA Piston Cup Racer that bore the number 4 for tow cap. During his appearance in Cars 3, he was one of the racers to participate in the Dynaco Light 350 of the 2016 Piston Cup season at the Motor Speedway of the South. Later on, during mid-season, when next-gen racers started dominating the Piston Cup circuit, he was replaced by a next-gen racer named J.D. McFiller, a car that shares the same body mold as Ryan Inside Laney, who I unfortunately don't have. And during his die-cast releases, he was released a few times, twice as a single for 2017 and 2019, a .com 10-pack, I mean, or should I say an online exclusive .com 10 pack and Target exclusive 11 packs. And I got him here in a package via eBay along with Aaron Clocker, who I recorded previously. And now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here we've got his happy facial expression, his grill, working headlights, and number four, dark purple exterior paintwork. And on the hood, we've got the toe cap logo saying toe cap with the slogan hitch protector on top. And on both sides, we've got the black rims on the black wall light year racing tires and yellow at the bottom and a red arrow at the bottom indicating a pity to lift them up. A yellow number four, the toe cap logo and the gas cap, light year logo on the front fenders, few contingency logos saying piston cup, vitaline revolting nitrate RPM octagating clutch shade, and on the top we've got the yellow number four, no name signature, and on the trunk we've got the toe cap logo saying toe cap hitch protector, and we also have the spoiler, the ducktail spoiler. And on the back, we have the toe cap logo saying in the middle, the slogan and the slogan "Hitch Protector," and the the camera in the middle, and the red working tail lights, and a yellow at the very bottom, even though he's not a rookie, and a yellow number four at the bottom right. Oh. And on the right side, we have the exhaust pipes. And on the undercarriage, we have Mattel, Disney slash Pixar. And that is it. Now let's pull up some of the other 
Brawny Motor Co. Sparky A. Piston Cup Racers, we have Bobby Swift, Phil Tankson, Red Meeker, Speedy Comet, Bobby Rotesta, TG Castlenut, and Chip Gearings, and some of the other Brawny Motor Co. vehicles. We have Rusty Corn Fuel, his successor, who is a Spark GT. Matthew True Blue McCrew, who is a Leeway GT. And Skip Richter, who is a Shindrig SR Sedan. And some of the other racers with the number four, we have Taco and Max Schnell. And that is it. And let me pull up the Jack Rusty Cornfield again and put him next to Jack the Post. So, so far, the only toe cap racer that I need to get is JD McFiller. So, what do you, but what do you guys think? Which car sharing Jack DePost's body mold is your favorite? Which team toe cap racer is your favorite? Is it Rusty Cornfield or Jack DePost? And which Brawny Motor Co. vehicle is your favorite? And which racer number four is your favorite? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!